idea of how the lyric also explains or adds to the drama of uh, monsoon uh, and it shows up in uh, either it's it shows up either in the peacock dancing or the mm. you know the frog uh, jumping out of a pond or it could be more uh, in terms of the lightning or the robust cloud uh, or how that plays out uh, you know how that energy plays out in uh, in a composition uh typically in uh, hindustani music in particularly in classical music uh, malhar has a very special place malhar or mm-hmm. monsoon ragas have a very very special place as you would know and uh, there have been several compositions which are um, uh, attributed to this this particular period of the year and like you said there we, we do celebrate uh, the shad ritu or six seasons and of that it's the basant and the malhar which gets more importance than you know some of the others like hemant or shishir or sharad or whatever it is that you have so there are many compositions which uh, which are uh, directed at celebrating the monsoon and uh, i'd like to sing one which is uh, particularly interesting because it's it combines two ideas one the fact that it is in set in a rag called or a melody called mia ki malhar so uh-huh. mia ki malhar means mia tansen so uh, the fact that he was the one who uh, tansen uh, you know uh, was the one who is supposedly have uh, come up with this kind of a malhar and uh, in that uh, in that again uh, a later poet niyamat khan who uh, uh, was in the court of mohammad sharangile and has been you know he has several compositions to his um, credit with sada rang as his uh, pen name so he celebrates his patron through a composition of miyaki malhar 